it's been in a place where I've finally been able to automatically switch on how I run my 1060s like last year and it was really I was confident in knowing that okay this is what gets me to run 106 and I knew that feeling and it became automatic and I'm I, I want to use that experience that I had last year to go into this year Welcome again to Ride the Narrative, it's okay to be curious, like, share and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. 2023 season for Shelly and Fraser Price is about to begin. Now, Shelly and Fraser Price became the first woman to run sub 10 seven, seven times in one track and field season and she was handsomely rewarded for that if feat. Now, she explained that she found purpose after a specific event happened in her life and now she's a change athlete and she's looking forward to win that gold medal at the 2024 Olympics. She's saying that the best is yet to come for Usain Bolt. After that car accident, he grew up. He found his purpose and then he, he, he realized that track and field is where his heart is. Shelly and Fraser Price explained how she figured out that her purpose is track and field and much much more than just sprinting check it out yes um when i took the time off i think the time off at the time i didn't want to take the time off really because there's so many fear when it comes to athletics and sprinting especially you don't see a lot of women at 30 deciding oh we're taking a year yeah. and coming back so you're always afraid to do it I mean Jessica did it <laughs> and it was phenomenal but you know not a lot of women do it so it's not a lot of examples so for me when I had my son I was nervous because you don't see it a lot you know not a lot of persons come back from having a child and I think for me it was definitely a motivation because I knew I always wanted to come back right. that was always a given and I'm glad that within my circle and my team they believed that I could and what was important was for me to understand that I felt I have not yet reached my peak right. and that was important to me it was important to have that knowledge to say that okay I have my son and I'm coming back it didn't matter what anybody else had to say it was about my vision and about my goals and what I believe was possible for myself and I just decided that I needed to do it for him as much as I needed to do it for myself because he needs to understand that in life you'll have challenges, you'll have setbacks and it's up to you to take those things and use it as a launching pad to go further and I think I used that and it was really incredible to be able to come back and not only come back but extend that longevity. Exactly and, and you've been working on what is one of you if you're <laughs> having uh, more better performances later on. Yeah. It's I can't, I really can't explain all of it. I think the mindset really changed. Yes. You know, I think the mindset was definitely a change for me. From moving from a place of, you know, just feeling like I didn't belong to having my son and realizing after being away for a year that track and field was always going to be there. It's there. And I needed to understand that as an athlete, I wanted to show up as my best self all the time. I know that, you know, with or without track, I am who I am, you know. And I think when I took that year off, I realized that people went on to, to run, to win medals, and I was still surviving. And I appreciated it more. And I think when I came back, have my son, and I started to train, I just really put things in perspective that, okay, I am an athlete, I'm a mom, I'm a woman, I am so many other things. So if I move one thing away, then I'm still Shelly Ann, yes. yeah. you know, and I think I became so much more comfortable with who I am and what I that want. That goes with it because confidence <laughs> yeah. is so important. Yeah, yeah. it is. And it I is. think it was important. So the goal is to make the Olympics, am I right? The goal, definitely. <laughs> I think not to participate, me, like we said earlier. No, it's not to <laughs> <laughs> go and win. I think for me, um, I'm right now. I'm at this stage where I believe the best is yet to come. It's so strange to say that at 36, you know, and I've, I've been able or blessed to be able to accomplish so many things. But I still think that I am at the door at something amazing, yes. and I want to have that, you know, yes. um, experience. And I believe it's possible. 
And I think what's so important is just showing, you know, athletes, showing women that you get to decide, you know, you get to break barriers and decide the future that you want. And it's up to you if you want to pursue this goal that you believe in. Yes. And once you believe that, then you go after it and you seek it with your whole heart. And that's what I'm basically doing. It's being in a place where I've finally been able to automatically switch on how I run my 10-6s like last year and it was really I was confident in knowing that okay this is what gets me to run 10-6 and I knew that feeling and it became automatic and I'm, I, I want to use that experience that I had last year to go into this year.